You're right guys, it's Capgun Tom here and I am back for another quick FIFA news flash and it is that time of the week again, it is Team of the Week. Now unfortunately it is a bit of a sad looking Team of the Week, there are no real standout players over about 200k I don't think, so unfortunately it's not going to be an amazing one, but still worth opening a few packs, you know, testing your luck and seeing if you get anything. So first off we have Mov Sisyan, he has 88 pace, he plays in the Russian League and uh, generally he looks like half decent player but not going to be competing with the likes of... Uh, Eto and probably Wellington as well. Then we have Olich from Wolfsburg. He has 79 pace, shooting of 81, 78 dribbling and 78 heading. We then have Ibarbo, his first in form of the season. This is probably one of the better players of this team of the week. He is a striker. He has 92 base, 86 dribbling. And if you've used this guy before, you'll know he's an absolute tank and he has very good long shots. We have on the right wing position Alfaro. He has 71 pace, 78 shooting, 74 passing, 76 dribbling and 63 heading. We then have Martin. He has 78 pace and 71 shooting as well as 85 passing and 83 dribbling. So a half decent centre mid from League One there. Then we have Hugo Viana. There's not all that many Portuguese centre mids. Um, that I can think of that you know I'd want in a team. This guy looks like he may be one of them. Shooting of 82, 86 passing and 80 dribbling. Some very good stats for him there. We then have Bruno Cesar. He has 79 pace, 85 shooting, 79 passing and 82 dribbling. Now this is going to be one of the more expensive players. Barclays Premier League silver in form. Centre back, 61 pace. Unfortunately that's going to hold him back. He's not going to get in the team ahead of Basong and Mariapa. But uh, defending of 80 and 81 heading. We then have Papadopoulos who has 73 pace. Looks like a very decent Greek centre back from Olympiakos there. Or is that Panathinaikos? I think it's Olympiakos. Anyway, moving on. We have uh, right back, Uchida. Now there's not many uh, Japanese players on this game. So this guy may go for a little bit. Bit. He has 82 pace, 81 passing, 78 dribbling and 72 defending. So some decent stats for him there. Then in goal we have Adler. He's got an inform 85 rated overall, 88 div diving, handling of 83, 88 reflexes and 86 positioning. So some good stats for him. We then have Pugunia or P Pugo Pugonio or something like that, I can't really pronounce his name, but this guy probably will go for a little bit because he's going to be the only silver Serie A keeper with an 74 rated overall, so he will be ahead of a lot of other goalkeepers in those Serie A silver teams. We then have Yukogo, he looks like a half decent player, especially since he has 78 pace, he's 64 rated centre back in the MLS, so a very decent player there, I would definitely recommend him being one of the ones that you do want to pick up if you're investing. We have Townsend, this guy should go for quite a bit. He has 88 pace as a right mid, that's very good. He also has 70 passing and 79 dribbling, plays for QPR and is obviously a BPL silver. Then we have Lansbury, plays for Notts uh, Forest, 69 pace, 70 dribbling, 71 shooting, 61 defending, 74 passing and 53 heading, so some good stats for him overall. We have Phillips from Blackpool, he has 77 shooting, 60 passing, 66 dribbling and 75 heading. Our final gold of this team of the week is Amari from Parma. He has 56 pace which is really going to hold him back but he does have 88 heading which is kind of insane and 84 dribbling as well as 78 shooting and the final player is um, a what is it, Saudi player he has 83 pace he has 63 shooting 70 dribbling and 63 heading so guys hope you've enjoyed this team of the week there is also going to be a last chance happy hour from 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Uh, GMT today to get last week's team of the week but other than that I will have to leave it there drop the video a like and I will see you all next time